Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dust, and why do you from Why Do You Games standing for you don't understand games, and that's why I play them. <gasps> Welcome back to Dang and Ronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. I had to jump back into this. It's only been a couple days since I uploaded my video. I'm making progress. Now, when we last left off, my girlfriend Sayaka died, and then she stomped on somebody and on, on, the, on the teddy bear and got herself killed. I thought my phone was blinking for a minute there, sorry. Okay. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead! Why is that... Why was that surprising? There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why I even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. It, that's exactly what I was saying. Okay, I'm turning my phone upside down so I don't... Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means... <laughs> what? That means everything that's happened so far is real. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not a joke or whatever. It's really real? Let me Hell... out of here! Hell no. Someone save me. Let me out of here. Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? Oh, I meant to... Don't tell me you're gonna do the whole thing over again. Okay. I was trying to look at the ball. Clearly, the ball wasn't one of them. Okay. Hmm. Hey, buddy! Buddy, 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 help me. <clears throat> if we find out who did it, then, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then the rest of us face execution. What the heck? That's... That's what the ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. He's not one to call school stupid. I like her. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can, dis can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't that obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in position to destroy all the evidence you want. <laughs> huh, f fuck you. <laughs> so then. Fine. Oh, yes. I, I, I'm I glad this person stayed on guard. Fine, then. I'll stay on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op based defense with two of them. With their, with their stats, they're totally overpowered. Totally OP. <laughs> <laughs> Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty f freaked out, but I'll try. You know who would be able to help right now? Sayaka. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Noticing anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died... Oh, crap. She died in Makoto's dorm. Uh. What? She's right. <laughs> then, could it be... Oh, no. All at once, everyone gazed turned to me. Hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. Just for one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes has gone to done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In, in other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin an investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have, we'll have to collect clues and form a foundation, then construct an argument to come with a to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Actually... I'd rather you didn't, no. <laughs> Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kayoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kayoko, he was gone before we realized Yo. It. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the seat of the crime. Mm. 
Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, You're fucking dead. they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, but, um... I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have anything in p p particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is it very was suspicious. you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! <laughs> don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not... It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um... That's true. We might as well at least check... Check, just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Why not? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Oh! Burn! <laughs> Alright, I guess we better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. That was pointless. Everyone already left. And their parting looks at me still hasn't... Wait. Had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? Then camera, knock off that blinky crap. I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair. Bzz, bzz, poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? <laughs> Investigation time! I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. Time of death is estimated around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound right to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma File 1 has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Uh -huh. Oh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. Help me. I'm begging you. God, God Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. I don't care who it is. Just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Aren't you going to help investigate? Um... But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. I thought you don't like blood. Look at all this blood. Hmm. Okay, nothing else here. Let's go investigate. Anybody in here? Nope, nothing special. Okay. First of all, I should head to the scene of crime in my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. Are you just gonna go there without me go? So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remains. Okay. Better examine the scene of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Oh boy, does it. They do not look happy to see me. Now, this I got confused about. Scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. That's evidence of a struggle. Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something like could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well... Perhaps it was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Nice! Evidence of struggle has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. 
There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this might be, must be my room key. If I remember correctly... Oh, Sayaka. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, switch keys too. Sayaka would have the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get in the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Same goes, no matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone, even if I'm sure it's you. Absolutely won't open it for anyone, otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it, or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere, someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone rocking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms have been added to the truth bullets of your handbook. You didn't have anything to say about that? Uh, speaking of which, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey! I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. So he trusts me? Way. She, sorry. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before the body, anyone found the body. I mean, there's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard! <laughs> anyone who raises their hand to that woman, to a woman that's scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find this son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. I don't think it was him. But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> that look. <laughs> Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> Wait a minute, my tools. Toolkit still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it has been used at all. Which makes sense. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. Can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, my. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood for to be fucking building furniture, right? So if you haven't used yours either, then? What? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted theirs out yet. As far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because it's like, why the hell would we? But what about... Okay. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taking out of, taken out of its sheath. Okay. I haven't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised if it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold has been come off on parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Nice. Oh, this is getting interesting there, dude. Okay, there's scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. That's evidence of a struggle. Oh, well, we already did that. Mm, well. Yep. Okay, that's where I was going for next. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Oh, this is the sheath. Oh, wouldn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. Oh, crap, I should have read that. I mean... If you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off them in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? That does make no sense. Gouges on the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Jesus Christ, there's a lot to look at. It's the display stand the sword was on. Well, I guess we got that situated. <laughs> yeah, I already said that. Okay. I was, I was trying to point to the table. Mm -hmm. Soundproof. Well. Yep. Okay, the table isn't one of them. Good to know. The trash, though, is knocked over. And I can't even click on the trash anymore. Notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant. Oh, wait a minute. 
Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there was way less here than before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up? Oh, hello! I didn't even see you there. Hey, Kayoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch Did of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Okay, so my character's also an idiot. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight Listen. and said, Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more, one more time. I see. Interesting. What's well, interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from corner to one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you've mentioned it, I noticed, some, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Yep. Can I go into the bathroom? Bathroom on the other side of this door. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push the my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. That's a kitchen knife, isn't it? Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears, but I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover her. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought helped, held me up and supported me. Okay, what do we got? Why does that look like lettering? I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and I saw... One one zero three seven. One one zero three seven. It's a. I thought it was. I thought it was a word, and I was trying to read it backwards. One one. One one zero three seven. Say I can do this. So, no time to think like that. I pulled the monoc pull on to verify what he said about the body. Sharp object thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow, but whatever they used to kill her, where they get it, it's definitely something I should look into later. According to Monica no file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist doesn't look does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure, but there's something glittery on her wrist too. Like gold. So the murder what wait. She used the sword to try to defend herself. There's some blood on her left index finger. That's it. The palms of both her hands are completely spotless, so how come her left finger? Probably so she could write down the number. Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken if she already been killed? She broke her wrist trying to use the sword, I bet. It's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. Killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, killer cor cornered her in the bathroom where they inflicted the deadly wound. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh. The water for the showers gets turned off at nighttime. Why was that something for me to look at? Okay, there's nothing else in here. Uh, how do you leave? R. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Monica? 
the bloody numbers. Most likely in Sayaka's dying message. I want to do that one. I've never seen anything written in blood before. It really was her final message, as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes you think she wanted to use her body to block them. So she wrote them in that location where she was sitting in the way we found her. That means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what that what the result would be? The result? Well... Think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. That doesn't make any sense. Sounds like Kayoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to! When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate program? Makoto. Mer. I don't want to talk to him! There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't... Door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. What's that got to do with anything? Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit in the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have had to use a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. Why would someone want to do that? Probably because Sayaka was hiding in the bathroom. So... Maybe they're trying to get the door unlocked and end up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom door doesn't have a lock... My bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. I love this woman. <laughs> then apparently struck with a sudden realization. She shot a question at me. Just a second. I just have one more question at you for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about mm -hmm. it. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I get the sense she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. She thinks I did it! Oh no! As if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking to where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out, too. I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me. This guy seems on my side. Uh, he already, hey. he already said all that. Alright. So that's everything, correct? That looks like it. Alright. Good. Oh, Jesus. Okay. There's one thing I want to check out before I talk to anybody. Because it's a knife. So I'm thinking a kitchen knife. Anybody in here? Yep. Hi. I'll be in here. That's what I thought it! I look it! The knife is missing! All kinds of kitchen knives. Too big. Looks like one of them is missing! What was missing? Was it missing from the very beginning? No. Better see if anyone here knows no about it! Okay, your knife set has been added to the truth bullets of your section handbook. Nothing else. Okay. Ha! I'm a genius! Now, there's one more thing I want to check out before I talk to anyone, because knowing my luck that'll finish the day. Um, where's the garbage chute? 
Oh, it is in this room. Okay, so it's this way. Okay, it's this way. Get out of there. But how would they get in? No way to get past. Monokuma appears! He scared the piss out of me! It's the end of the line! The trash room, this is where the trash of the school eventually winds up. How do you get the skate over? No, no! You can't go any further! No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Who's on cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! This is stupid. It'd be faster to go around and ask the other. No, no! You can't go any further! He's programmed to say that every time. So we have to find out who is on cleaning duty. Because they'd be the only one out after dark. I still want to check this out. Okay. All right. Got that out of the way. Were you on cleaning duty? Please tell me you were on cleaning duty. I want you dead. I don't like you. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Just so happens, Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for this position. Hmm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't got a chance to get started. You can open the gate in front of the trash room? Here we go. Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room? And only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So, in other words... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that... Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. I, mm. I just decided to volunteer for something. I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar. I know why you did it. Is it... You want like... to dig through all the girls' trash? That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> Looking for you know and poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. Boy, he talks too much. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. There's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D. <laughs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good... To shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PCP fi PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say this stuff like that? Hmm. If you're worried, so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's an easy solution. Whenever a guy is cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them for picking up the trash to dispose it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> that, that's not how I'm supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, if you're on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Now, so now you want to join my party? Sorry, you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. Got... So easy. Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. He is looking pretty guilty. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife, he learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. 
Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Pulled the key out of his pocket and used to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Ma Naegi... Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You, you fiend! You planned this all along! No. I just wanted to see if the actual killer tried to destroy her any evidence or not. Hmm. But the actual hmm. killer is... Hmm. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You wanted to see if you left anything behind. <gasps> Wait! Maybe a parallel world! Whatever, let's hurry up and keep looking. What is that? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Okay, he has no help. Anyway, this is... It looks to be like a piece of cloth and the shape where she cut her wrist. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now I look at it, it's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... That is all that's left of some of the evidence that the killer destroyed. But there's lots of people here with a white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Nice. Now it's over here. Shards of broken glass scattered around the incinerator. Looks like they used some kind of glass ball, just big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Is that... You know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. The dragon balls? Are you joking? Mm. Um, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see in a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who's on the quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, who, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I better go find out for sure. Incinerator. It's a way in the back part of the trash room. It's good 33. Here's the gate. Oh, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? <laughs> Someone turned the incinerator on! <laughs> You're such an idiot. How long have I been recording? I can't see it. Hang on, give me one sec. Okay. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a Perhaps fairy? it was the work of a fairy. Hafumi, do you realize what you just did? <laughs> Huh? The fairy? No! You said the last time you were here, this incinerator was off. <laughs> yes! About that, there can be m no mistake. If I've got one more thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down and checked the place out. It definitely wasn't on. I haven't been back to the trash room since. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, Most it suspicious. should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... That means someone was able to switch the incinerator without opening the gate. How is that possible? Hmm. The whole hmm. thing is quite... Hmm. Hmm. Quite strange, indeed. I don't like him. He talks too much. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> what does all mean? Unforgivable! Mr. Naegi, will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it. Everyone, I'm sure of it. everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out of the comic book fantasies. Okay, are we done? Green button turns it on, yellow off, so it seems. Oh, is that it? What was that? No, 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 what was that? There's something over here. That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can't burn? Well, whoever it's for, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. But I found a coin! <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. 
Um. Jim. Jim, 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 I went the wrong way, I went the wrong way, I went the wrong way, I went the wrong way. Jim, 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 Jim. Jim, 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 Jim. Hey, it's my buddy! Buddy, 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 buddy. Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I just said! Forget it! Forget it! Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Right. This is where I was originally going before the gym. Guess not. No, not right now. I was hoping it would say something else. Alright. Alright, uh, let's see here. Where's the gym? Where's the goddamn gym? Oh, it's going the right way. I realize I didn't talk to everybody, but... You! Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um... Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball! But it's smashed, what the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was all... He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? It was actually just made of glass and not crystal? That guy totally duped me! He said it belonged to the Pillars of History. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon... He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Uh, let's put that aside for now. So you, you can say without a doubt that this belonged uh, to you. Um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have came by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found and taken it. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um... Sh sure. By the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two years. Came out to be like a million. You paid a million dollars for a glass um, ball. That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. Right. So, the laundry room, huh? The laundry room... Seems like somewhere we need to go next. Am I going the right way? Yeah. To the laundry! And I'm going to pause it for now. Thanks for watching. All my links are in the description. I'm just going to save it before I say anything else. My name is Dustin Whitey You from Whitey You Games. This has been Dangarumpa, Trigger, Trigger Happy Havoc, part whatever part we're at. This is a long game, and only one, two people have died. But one was a murder. I can only imagine if we find out, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, if we choose the right one, does the game continue, and that person dies? Or if we choose the wrong one, does it just game over, and we have to, I have to go back and load? What happens? Um, but we're going to check out the laundry room in the next episode. So, yeah, all my links are in the description. I already said that, and I'll have to see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy.